everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on how a CD DVD changer works. This is a carousel type here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a button here, and open up the carousel, and I'm going to put a DVD in there, and I'm going to shut it. You can see it rotates around and it's going to shut into position. So I'm looking for a space where the uh, actual DVD is. And then it uh, picks up the DVD off of this carousel right here and it spins it so that it can play it. And I can take it out again. And I can slide another one right into here. And if I want to switch it, I just press one of these buttons to select another DVD. If there's not a DVD in in there, or uh, it will it will look it will search the tray and find whatever slot there's a DVD in. Now the real flaw with this design is that gravity holds uh, these DVDs down in these spaces right here. And uh, so if you move this and there are DVDs in it or you turn it up on its side for whatever reason, these can slide out like this or slide into here and they can slide around uh, quite easily. Uh, so that's, that's a flaw with the design of this. This is really cool design uh, for a CD changer or a DVD changer but uh, they're kind of really obsolete now with streaming media there's really not a lot of uh, need to have a DVD or CD uh, changer like this so that you can go from one to another I never really got a whole lot of use out of this unit uh, before anyway I had it for DVDs I thought it would be a cool idea to be able to switch from DVD to DVD, but it ended up being more trouble than it was worth most of the time. And if you just wanted to play one DVD, it got kind of confusing because you had four other DVDs in there. Anyway, it's cool technology, uh, but it's kind of antiquated. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. Be seeing you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.